Yay, do you know what today is? It's Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm. It is Boxy Charm Day. Okay, y'all, so this month's paper says sweet treats. It looks like a whole bunch of pastel candies. The first thing I see is this Natasha Denona palette. Retails for $48. It is Ayana. This is what she looks like. Super, super pretty. Not mad at this palette. I used this palette today to create this look, and I'm honestly super happy with it. I didn't use anything but this palette to create this look and it actually came out really nice and simple. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you really quickly. The quality is always there with her products, honestly. Okay, so this is what that palette looks like and honestly, I feel like she is just super, super pretty and you can create a number of different everyday looks with her. So I'm not mad about this. I am super happy to have this. This is the second big size one that we've gotten. You want to swatch it? Yeah. This is the second big size that we we've gotten oh she's swatching she's mixing them um that we've gotten in a box of charm so i'm pretty happy with that one the next thing i see is this primer which i also use today i don't know if i love it um it does feel really cool to the touch which i've kind of found odd this is icy sherbet primer from Touch and Soul. Retails for $38. It says, lock your looks in place and keep them cool. Icy, gel primer, blah, 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 instantly cooling. I wouldn't say I felt like my face was cooling, but when I touched it, it literally did feel pretty cold. Surprised me that this is actually like an extreme amount of product. Like this is probably the biggest primer I've ever gotten in my life. What's odd is when you open it, it's super, super goopy. It's, I, I don't think, maybe because I'm not used to primers that are in a jar like this and I'm used to them being in a tube, but this just, I don't know. The formulation seems odd to me. I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm not mad at how well it worked either. I don't know if I love it yet, but I'll work with it and I'll see. The next thing we got was this Queen Studio Dragon Lash Mascara. Retails for $18, which I don't know. I don't need another mascara, so I did not use this. I'm just going to save this for a future giveaway. Um, it's super, super cute. The packaging is very, very cute, but I honestly don't need another mascara, so we're just going to save that one and put it to the side. The next thing I see is Georgette. Clinger? Clinger. Vitamin C mask. Not mad at this. Pretty excited about this. I love vitamin C anything. This one is $36. Revitalizes, brightens, and evens your complexion in minutes. Blah, blah, blah. Vitamin C protects skin. Blah, blah, blah. Clay mask draws out impurities. So it's a mask. I, I don't think I have any. I have vitamin C sheet masks. I don't have any other vitamin C products. This is what it looks like. It has a pump to it, so I like pumps. And then you squirt it out, and it kind of has this like tan shade to it. Uh, I don't know if I really smell anything. Wait a minute. You want to smell it? I don't know. I'm definitely going to try it out. I'll try it out tomorrow and hopefully I like it. I mean, anything vitamin C I'm always happy to get, so that's great. Okay, y'all, and the lipstick of the day is actually this MAC Dress Maker. Super, super pretty. Not mad at this shade at all. I feel like we didn't get that much today, but I guess we actually did. It's just not that much to go over because the last thing we got are some tweezers, which I'm not overly happy about but I'm not mad about it because I will use them but it's not like something I really want in a boxy charm if I'm being honest $18 I would not pay $18 for tweezers I just don't feel like you need to pay $18 for tweezers so these are from Monicator Beauty so you have the regular ones that are like kind of have that slanted tip and then you also have the super pointy ones um like I said I don't think I'm not spending $18 on tweezers. I don't buy tweezers often. So, I mean, I could use a new pair, but it's not like it's something that I really wanted in a boxy charm. I don't know, y'all. It's like tweezers are not that great of an item when it comes to boxy charm. At least not for me. I do tweeze my eyebrows more because I don't go and get them done, but it's not like something that I really want in a boxy charm. I'd rather a lipstick or a lip balm or an eyeshadow or something that's not tweezers. I'm just being honest. 
maybe these are great, but I also feel like I could get a cheap pair at Target and I'd be cool because I got a cheap pair at Target and I'm cool with those. So, you know, it is what it is what it is. I'm not mad at this box. I really do think that this palette here is is really gorgeous. I feel like it's a great everyday palette and the quality is always there with Natasha Denona. So, I'm I'm cool with that. I'll try this out. This is a crap ton of products, so there's that. And then always grateful for vitamin C, you know, got to give away gifts. So, yeah, makeup palette. So I'm happy with everything that I got. You know, it's, it's the value is there. So that's all that really matters at the end of the day, right? Is the values there, and you got a few things that you could actually use. So that's cool. Anyway, that's cool. That's cool. But if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Bye.